Hey guys, girls, followers. So I'm at one of the first, or one of the numerous crossroads that I have in my trail. As you can see, I got a tree there. Probably not the first, probably a bunch. I had one deadfall there, just worked on another one. I've been at this for a little over a kilometer and a half. As you can tell, I'm out of breath a little bit. Roxy's having fun. It's a great day, even though they're announcing squall, snow squalls here in Timmins. It's, uh, it's a really nice day. Fresh air. Talk again soon. So I'm not too far from where uh, first crossroads are. And as you can tell, the trails are grown in. Got wild roses all over the place. But once we get snowfall and I keep packing it down, it's going to be nice. I'm in the dead of bush and we got a serious six inches of snow here. So it's kind of cool. Some of the stuff I'm walking around. I mean, I'm not out here to keep the trail super clean. Actually, I'd like to keep it dirty enough so the snowmobilers can't come in. So a lot of zigzags and a lot of narrows. Clean it enough to make it safe so we don't rip our clothes or poke an eye out. See you in a bit. So, walking along, see a bunch of tracks here. Some of the dogs there, but got moose tracks. Somebody had to sleep for the night here. Doesn't look very big, and not for the night. I'm gonna say just a few hour rest because it would be a lot, uh, a lot more melted snow and stuff. But they were here last year. Kind of cool to see that we're only a few kilometers from town. And we got moose. Well, we're still at it. We're still on the west side of the snowshoe trail. Just about to get back out on the power line. Really tough to find some last year's trails. Should have marked them a little better, but live and learn. So nice and cozy in the thickness of the bush that I have there. Clean that up. Oh, she's nasty out here on the power line. I guess this is the squall they're talking about. Wow. home stretch less than a half a kilometer to go all nice and straight flat slight incline probably go up seven or eight meters by the time that goes there you don't notice it but it's been a good trek I guess I had a lot of cleanup to do in the deeper thicker parts I'd be curious to see how many kilometers we got. We still haven't reopened all of the trails from last year. It'd be a lot of work, but hey, looking forward to it. I did manage to find a piece of wood, what they call fat wood. So it's a high resin content in this little branch. So probably do another video later on or at the truck. The way I process this, you shave it, all you need is a few sparks to light it. So back to the bushcrafting, living in the woods, not living in the woods, but experiencing the woods. All right, talk to you later.